Attention. Attention. Encoded message. Theo Parnell is the former son of a senator, RPA or remotely piloted craft pilot and mechanical engineer for the United States Navy, as well as a first wave division agent. His psychological evaluation suggests that he shows extensive analytical thinking, but he is reserved in thrusting the authorities. The division recruited Parnell because of his technical expertise and innovative problem solving. Recent investigations in Parnell's past show that Aaron Keener convincing Parnell of his theories had a hand in Parnell disavowing the division. Parnell discovered serious conspiracies surrounding the former government including his father, President Waller and President Ellis. On top of that, he thinks the division's higher-ups are corrupt and are more important to everything happening in New York City and Washington DC. After being recruited by Keener, he worked on several projects with him. What projects has Parnell worked on with Keener? How do President Waller, Ellis and his father tie into the conspiracies of the corrupted government? And is there any truth to the corruption within the division? Congressman Parnell, do you have anything to say about Professor Spencer's recent allegations regarding your son, Theo? I have nothing further to add. As I stated in my press release, these allegations are completely unfounded. Professor Spencer shared his car's data logs with us this morning, which suggests that the software indeed was tampered with. It corroborates his story. Which has nothing to do with my son. Now, if you'll excuse me. Four months ago, your son posted hacking tutorials online, several of which featured similar car systems being cracked. Videos that have since been removed. Look, I know my son. He's a smart, clever boy. He likes to pick things apart to see how they work. But he's a respectful, honorable, and kind young man. Have you seen the video Theo posted of the accident? I am confident that he will be fully exonerated. Thank you. You hacked your teacher's car? It's not like that. What the fuck did you do, Theo? I just tried to access the door locks. I messed up and accidentally put it into gear. It's not my fault he parked by a lake. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Why the hell would you do something like this? Midterm grades were just posted, and there's no way I'm fourth in the class. So you break into your teacher's car? I saw the term paper sitting on his back seat. I thought if I read him, I could prove he was marking me down because he doesn't like me. You think this teacher's got it out for you? I think someone bought him off. There's no way I'm fourth. So I used my phone to hack his car and get the proof I needed. Jesus Christ, Theo. I'm calling a psychiatrist. Before the green poison pandemic, Parnell was a student and son of a senator, Henry Parnell. Parnell finished midterms and came in fourth in his class. With a psychiatric history of conspiracy, Parnell used his phone to hack the door locks of his teacher's car to read the term papers, but accidentally put it into gear and drove it into the lake it was parked at. He wanted to prove that someone bought his teacher off and marked him down, perhaps to undermine his father's career as a senator. Professor Spencer pressed charges as his car's data log suggested that the software had been tampered with and Parnell posted hacking tutorials online several months ago and even posted a video of the accident, as the journalist Sandra Demare mentioned. These events from before the pandemic show not only Parnell's talent for mechanical engineering, but also his tendency to look into conspiracy theories. And that wouldn't end here. How can you believe that horse shit? You really think Dad had a heart attack? I really think that's what the doctor said. He never smoked. He ran 10 miles a day, ate clean. He was a fucking vegan. Just because he was vegan doesn't mean he was healthy. French fries are vegan. You know Dad was trying to impeach President Waller for campaign finance violations. Don't start this shit again, Theo. Then his autopsy report goes missing. Theo. Harry, they fucking cremated him. They destroyed evidence. You ever hear of Digitalis? Foxglove? It can stop your heart, and without that report, there's no way to know if they even tested for it. You know he had enemies, all right? Senator Kensington had it out for him. You know she ruined his presidential bid. Harry? Harry? Did you hang up on me? As Parnell talks with his brother, Harry Parnell, on the phone, he mentions that his father made an attempt to impeach President Waller, the president at the time of the pandemic, for campaign finance violations. The missing autopsy report, the death by heart attack, and his cremation could have been ways to cover up the liquidation of a senator. If there is any truth behind this, it's unsure, because we know Parnell is one to be 
quite a conspiracy theorist. But if it were true, it could have been the shadowy organization that was pulling the strings, similar to the death of Presidents Waller and Mendes. I still can't pin anything directly to Kensington. She was out of DC when it happened and I don't have any records of meetings or calls with anyone who could carry out a hit. She's smart. Probably knew I would look at her first. I need to find another angle. Even if they use burner phones and have staffers scrubbing their data, there's no way they can completely cover their tracks. Eventually, they'll expose themselves, and I'll be ready. I know Kensington had my dad killed to protect Waller. I know why, I know how, I just can't prove it. Yet. Parnell investigated his father's death, now looking into Kensington. Who she was is unknown, but it could have been another senator that apparently was loyal to President Waller. Still, Parnell's case is hard to believe as there is no proof. Time goes by and after joining the Navy and becoming an RPA pilot and mechanical engineer, Parnell is recruited by the division as a first wave division agent and sent to the dark zone. Attention all agents, this is an emergency alert. The division is compromised. You have been led to believe that you serve a noble cause, that you are empowered to do whatever it takes to save what remains, but you don't know the whole story. You don't know who's pulling the strings and giving the orders. The truth is that you are all unknowingly serving a shadowy group of profiteers. A group that doesn't want to restore democracy and freedom, but create a fascist plutocracy that only benefits themselves. The Division is nothing but a tool to serve their agenda. The Division does not serve the state, it does not serve the people. Look at the data. Don't take my word for it. Look for yourselves. You'll see I'm telling the truth. Parnell broadcasts an emergency alert to all agents of the Division after the betrayal of the Dark Zone. Parnell suggests the division is corrupt, which in itself is another vague claim, but he touches on something interesting. It's unsure what proof he has, but he mentions a shadowy group of profiteers, a group that does not want to restore democracy and freedom, but rather create a fascist plutocracy that only benefits themselves. Parnell has a point in that we don't know who the higher-ups in the division's organization are, if there even are any. Could it be the same shadowy organization that hired the Black Tusk? This is definitely something we should consider. This alert got the attention from none other than the first wave's prodigal son, Aaron Keener. Don't move! So much power in one finger. I said don't move! Now, you wouldn't shoot me in the back, now would you, Phil? You're rogue, sir! I, Keener... Or Aaron, not sir. We're equals. I'm not your SO anymore. They're saying you committed war crimes. Who, the JTF? Uh, people who walled us in to die? Or, or Isaac? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you saying Isaac's been compromised? I know you, Theo. You know how tech can be exploited. I'm just asking, do I seem rogue to you? Or is the problem somewhere higher up? Keener tracked down Parnell, and although Parnell wanted to arrest him at first, Keener used Parnell's tendency for conspiracy to manipulate him into working together. As we see Dragov in the back aiming at Parnell, we can see how Keener's still pulling the strings. You figure out what happened to your dad? No. Isaac has access to every database known to the US government. I'm still getting Stonewall. Isaac's got restrictions, clearance levels that you can't access. There's still plenty of the powers that be don't want you to know. Like what really happened? To the first wave? Yeah. Everything's a rumor, but we've got cameras and mics everywhere. It shouldn't be this hard to find out the truth. It's only hard when they want it to be hard. So it's true. They left you to die? Cut their losses because we're expendable? Yeah, that's the fine print on the contract. We are the last line of defense when the shit hits the fan. But really, they're just using us to shield them from the shit. <sighs> I wish I knew who they are. Well, they're easy to spot. Just look for who's still clean, who still has resources that they shouldn't have. You think the same people behind my dad's death are responsible for the first wave? I wouldn't be surprised. Everyone has secrets, Theo. And the kind of people who can keep what happens to your dad so you're gonna have friends in high places. But if you really wanna know what happened, I can help you. I got friends in higher places. Parnell tried using Isaac, which has access to every database known to the US government, but still was restricted in finding information on his father's death. Keener talks about the powers that be, preventing Parnell and any others to find out the truth, further confirming the shadowy organization theory. However, even more interesting to see is that Keener has friends in higher places, suggesting he's working with someone too. 
Still, that's for another video to speculate on. How's the hunt going? You get any new leads for my intel? You were right. There's so much shit to uncover. Did you know that Mendez didn't commit suicide? Oh yeah, and that's clearly a hit. You think the same people are responsible for my dad? That's possible. Your dad and Ellis never really saw eye to eye. He wasn't the kind of man you could easily control or manipulate. Unlike Ellis. I didn't think Ellis had that much power. Well, he's president now. He's always been ambitious. Would surprise me if he felt threatened by your dad, worried about him taking speaker in the next election cycle if the majority turned. Yeah, that makes sense. Theo, if you're not too busy, I could use your help with something. Sure. What do you need? Do you think you'd be able to hack and reprogram an encrypted guidance system? Well, I can try. You know I love a challenge. How's it going? Good. Dragup's parts were in pretty good shape. Just need to mill some new fittings and we should be good to go. Well, what do you need? The good way or the shitty way? <laughs> the shitty way. Find me some sheet metal and a soldering iron and I can make some hinges and a new cone. And the good way? Get me access to a CNC or metal lathe and I can grind a new one. I'll see what I can do. Keener provided Parnell with the intel. Not only did Parnell find out that Mendes' supposed suicide was set up, but he also found out that Alice supposedly felt threatened by Parnell's father, who could have been Speaker of the House, then Alice's position, in the next election and preemptively could have arranged his father's heart attack. After Keener provided for Parnell, he asked for a favor and this is the first project that Parnell will work on for Keener. Hacking and reprogramming an encrypted guidance system, later to be used for Project Eclipse. The parts were delivered by Dragov and in the Echo we see Parnell working on the project. However, Keener had more than one project he was working on. A contingency plan. Any updates for me, Theo? The system's a mess. I got into the code base easy enough thanks to Isaac, but it's going to take a little longer until I can build a control interface. How much longer? Ideally, I need a week. We don't have a week. Okay, uh, I could probably cut that down to five days. Keep at it. Give me an update tomorrow. We also have an issue with remote access. With most cell towers out of commission, we have to rely on satellites and, well, those systems aren't really being maintained. What do you need? A command center. Somewhere remote. Hard to get to would be ideal. Abandoned would be best. I got a place. Give me the specs and I'll set you up. The second project Keener had Parnell work on was the Rogue Network. Using Isaac's base code, Parnell created another AI system for rogue agents called Anna. However, since he needed direct contact with satellites, he needed a command center. Keener knew just the place and set him up in the tombs, previously a detention complex in the civic center of Lower Manhattan. Dragon sent you? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Theo. Judge. So... Where's the executioner? Dragon said you needed protection. I don't need protection. <sighs> Okay, look, I know you don't want us here, stomping all over your precious whatever the fuck this shit is. Don't worry about it. But here's the deal, that red ring puts a target on your back, and Dragoff doesn't want anyone to kill you prematurely. Huh, that's very thoughtful of him. So we'll stick around until Dragoff tells us to leave. Honestly, I don't give a shit, one way or the other. I'm just hoping some division fuckhead will try to kill you so I can get another trophy. Right. Well, that's... That's cool. But anyway, I'm just gonna... I'll just be... You know, I'll be upstairs. Other than delivering supplies, Dragov, now in charge of the Rikers, sent over a small battalion of Rikers under leadership of Judge to the tombs. Parnell's research was most important to Keener, so he needed to keep it safe. Other than working on Project Eclipse and the Rogue Network, Theo alongside the other three Rogue agents were planning an assault on the JTF's base of operations in Lower Manhattan. Keener, come in. This is Keener. What are we looking at, Theo? Two guards on regular rotations, six hour shifts. They're JTF, not agents. Should be easy enough to handle. Perimeter? Roaming patrols every hour. Four to six man squads. Again, shouldn't be a problem. And the building? Isaac had the semantics for the building. I've mapped out a clear path to where Conley should plant the payload to do maximum damage to the building's infrastructure. Great work, Theo. I don't know what I'd do without you. Running facial recognition analysis.
Analysis. Complete. Javier, Kajika, James, Dragoff, Theo, Parnell, Vivian, Conley. Status. Rogue. Analysis complete. Aaron Keener. Status. Rogue. Data from the tactical center showed Keener and his four lieutenants, including Parnell, released a small portion of Eclipse in City Hall and put explosive charges on the structurally weak parts of the building for maximum damage and casualties. The division wouldn't forgive easily and started a manhunt for Keener, but first had to go through his lieutenants. Using the data from one of Parnell's crashed surveillance drones, the agents was able to locate his position to the tombs. Parnell had set traps with Rikers, assault drones, holographic decoys and even Judge, but none were enough to stop the agent, more like slowing him down. Parnell requested an extraction from Keener, but as Keener always does, he left him to his fate. Shortly after, Parnell uses his holographic decoys to trick the agent into an unfair fight, but ultimately, Parnell's taken down. However, as soon as Parnell was eliminated, a wipe protocol was initiated. The backup for the information was traced back to the police headquarters in the Civic Center and it was vital for the division to find the server, crack it and extract the files. Using the satellite dish on top of the headquarters, Paul Rhodes managed to disable the encryption, track down Parnell's server and download the files that would eventually lead to Keener. Rogue agent, deceased. Parnell is a bit of a shadow on Keener's roster, but it seems that they were working together on several projects. With him out of the equation, it's bound to put a dent in Keener's plans. I'm using Parnell's watch to decrypt the data you retrieved from his server. It seems to be working, but it'll take time. I'll keep you posted as soon as I have anything actionable. Parnell doesn't seem like your typical division or rogue agent, but his analytical thinking and abilities as a hacker are unparalleled. Parnell had perhaps the largest role to play in Keener's legacy, as he created not only the encrypted guidance system for the Eclipse payload, but also created ANA and the rogue network that comes with it. ANA is an AI system similar or even better than Isaac that connects every rogue agent working with Keener, but more on that in Keener's video. What might be even more interesting is Parnell's conspiracy theories. Assuming he is correct in thinking that Kensington had someone liquidate his father, a congressman that was trying to impeach the 10th president Waller and run for the Speaker of the House, Ellis's position, it wouldn't be crazy that the shadowy organization that hired the Black Tusk had been pulling the strings even before the pandemic. It could even tie into the corruption of the division, where the shadowy organization could be former governmental figures that are pulling strings on both the division and Black Tusk. It's a lot to take in and so far no proof but only leads. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. I think there's more to this story than it seems on the surface, but that's definitely for another video. I want to thank you for watching, it's massively appreciated, pun intended. If you liked the video, please show so by liking or disliking the video, but if it's the latter, please give me some feedback on how to improve. If you like game lore videos, especially for The Division, you came to the right channel, so make sure to subscribe or even become a member. And with that, I'm going to end the video, I'll talk to you soon, peace out. <laughs>